Jason Smith, two seven footers, Aaron Gray, Pondexter, corner shot. Whom do they turn on a moment like that? You would think either Gay or Mayo. Mayo has it. Into the corner to Pondexter, a three ball. Bingo. To be more aggressive offensively versus being a fourth option. That trade back in January, they sent away their leading scorer. And as the team got better, Pondexter hits. So Shaw tries to incriminate, get them all in trouble. Our traveling bunch that does such a superb job. Did you say that? They don't cheat unless it's <laughs> trivia against us. Yeah. Played briefly against Toronto back on January the 3rd and has been playing a bunch with the Austin Spurs in the G League, and he is inserted during the timeout. And Fouls with 8.16 left. Memphis has been struggling from the line. They were a pretty good free throw shooting team during the regular season. Pond Points for Fournier, the Magic. Laying an egg tonight in front of a big crowd on their home. Interest, saying a team run by the league, what if they decide to trade a Chris Paul? They really need an owner. They're trying to find a local buyer. And the Marion throws the hammer down. 51-38. LeBron's got enough dimes to fill up a parking meter right now. Cast by 13. Contested shot by Love. Great cut. Six. Yeah, and that's what they need. They, they got six three-point shots now in this basketball game. Like I said, a lack of rebound, a lack of being able to get to, uh, to the free throw line. They need to have those three-point shots to make up those the differentials. Suns had missed their previous six shots. For the three-pointer from Dudley. Shot clock is down to four, down to three. Oh, no. Wide open Pondexter. And he Eight point Memphis lead. It starts here just system out every possession. Pondexter to go. I mean he can go to the wing and he can pin, pin his man and receive the pass. Splitter on Gasol. Leonard trying to poke it away from Prince. Pondexter. That's him for back into the game to try to just settle things down and get into some type of offensive set every time. Cargo, I beg your pardon. The Avalanche and Canucks. Oh. Well, that 12 of 23 from downtown. Tony Allen kicks it out. Pondexter, that's a three. Pondexter is... It's 15 minutes on the floor. Pondexter off a rub. Catching shoot time. Yes! And just not take those unnecessary fouls because he winds up putting them in bonus at the same time as they build up team fouls. Deion Dooling on the floor. Baylor's using the Randolph screen. In the court. Too strong on the running bank for Chris Paul. On Dexter. Seven since the All-Star break. We'll see Michael Red come off the bench. His emergence as a scorer, or re-emergence, because of course he was a great scorer with Milwaukee. A big part of the reason why they have had this renaissance. On Dexter for three. Memphis with the tip. Conley, Randolph, Allen, Pondexter gets rewarded with his good play, and Mark Gasol. Gasol has it. Here's the shot. Comes to the game. Seventh in the league on the glass, close to 11 boards a game. He'll be Oshik with the extra pass. Pondexter. And so a monumental climb now for the Pelicans. Down by 23. It'll be Eric Gordon inside out to Pondexter. And it's years, but... There was a group in Atlanta called I Have a Dream Foundation that kept tabs on a lot of the high school kids. And there was one older gentleman who was heavily involved who remembered Carter, spotted him, and said to me, hey, young man, you need to get back into school and do something with your life. He wound up going to junior college then University of Hawaii as Pondexter. Right, Harrison Payroll. And one of the moves was to change Rudy Gay, trade their leading score. And a lot of folks said, well, you can't do that. The ownership said... This team, Pondexter, a three, knocks it. That's so important when you're playing this type of a defense. Pondexter from his favorite yeah. spot. 13 to 2 run now. Our Domino's stat track. It's all brought to you by Domino's because they are more than pizza. Eric Gordon setting it up. Pondexter. Three ball. 
bringing the ball low. He's going for the foul instead of going to finish at the basket. LaMarcus Aldridge is quick hands. He continues to swipe down low. Mark has to keep the ball high. Pondexter, corner three. Good again. Pondexter forced Kyle Singler into a tough shot in the drop, George. Andre and Josh. The Piston big man now. Pondex corner. Some good one-on-one -on -one out there with uh, strength coach Carlos. It, it looks like he's moving up. So much when he gets the ball, it's going to help uh, the weak side. And that time it did with Nick Young. Two minutes to play, 2.10 to be exact in the third quarter. It's been tight from the get-go. No team has led by more than nine. It's Pretty quiet in the first half. Well, they rested him. I mean, he basically... Well, because Patty Mills sure. played so well. Like John Lure in. On the feet, Pondexter spots up. His three is through. Defensive team, so... Uh, Take it to him. Score the basketball. Yeah, you can score on this team. They are 29th in the league. They give up 105 points a game. Pondexter got it. And Splash Brothers from Golden State. So, Joel, when you have that type of play from the perimeter, it certainly opens things up for their other Pelican teammates. Without a doubt, the spacing that they uh, present and the problems with spacing of Pondexter. And he gets big mistake the way Mike Dunleavy has been shooting and drains that one. Mike hit his first four shots outside the three-point line, line last night in Cleveland on the way to 16. It doesn't help when you have to play the defending conference champ. Grizzlies with the steal. Pondexter spotty splash. Both offensive rebounds now for the Grizzlies. Into the corner, Pondexter for three. Philadelphia in overtime with seven tenths of a second to go. So feeling pretty good about himself right now, David. You know, I talked to Coach Hanners before the game, and you know, he was talking about this team. The scariest thing about this team is this team is playing for for their life. Last 17 days, they're four and eight. You know, that was a great stretch early on. There were some road wins in there. Oklahoma City followed that those exact dates. It was uh, I, I think they were a very feared team in the Western lead. When's the last time my Clippers had a, I don't a Lambert? I don't remember. All we've seen is a bevy of close ones. Yeah. That was good footwork, a lot of really good patience underneath for Larry Owens. That, that was a nice move. Surprising. I didn't know he had that little lefty jump hook in his game. That was a nice post move. From the corner, the three is good by D. So it's kind of fun to scoreboard watch too. We're doing a lot of that. Darrell Arthur, you got Zach Randolph at the last dead ball. And the corner, Pondexter, corner three. Through the playoffs last year now, seven games with Boston, six games with Indiana. You know, I think Chris Bosh time. Yeah, they had that injury that Chris Bosh was made things terrible. Exactly, and they, well. they, they were down 2-1 to Indiana, going in Indiana. In Indiana. And then they had that guy, what's his name? LeBron something? Yeah. He does a few yeah. things. Not a lot of jump shots taken by this Lakers team. A lot of pounding in the paint. Pondexter rises for three. It's he looks good. He gets free throws. 17 and 8 boards. Pondexter free in the corner. You know I like that step. I know you do. Here's Jack. Way across to Pondexter. Sets up for three and hits it. And it's going to be open floor for Tyreek Evans, Eric Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, pays off. And they'll get the last possession. Clippers lead by three. It was about four seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. 51 points is a lot in one half on Memphis. You got that right. They give up less than 90 a game. Only team in the league that can make that play. Conley crosses over. That's good defense. Into the corner. Except for a handful of... Uh, Grizzlies fans, and uh, they are wearing their jerseys and wearing them proudly representing Hoop City tonight. 56 52 Nuggets. Spates against the Flalo. Pondexter, a corner three. It's in! Gordon back to Ashik. Ashik back outside to Pondexter, and he hits a three. 
those are the type of shots he's going to take. Versus Coach Hollins will live with that. But you said it earlier, tell they're playing a lot better with just this Suns team on the road. Corner three is Hollins has been preaching that since the first day he got here. You can win or lose a game in the last six minutes. And we've been showing outstanding awareness and effort. Last six wins, Grizzlies have outscored their opponent in the fourth quarter. Kelly down seven. On extra for three. It's a good start. Quincy with that. I think Darren Arbetsky has another deep run in the playoffs. I keep threatening to go to one of those games. Come down, come I, down and I, see I, him. I haven't done that yet. But this during the season, this one. Well, has to get a bigger player. Gasol with the interception. Four on three if the Grizzlies hurry. But the Pistons get back, and Conley does not have a break opportunity. Under five to play. Conley, the pitch out, Pondexter for three, it's through! Got to at least get a hand of Austin Day is long enough to get a hand of and still get room, but you can't let Earl Clark be playing very well just at wide open looks. Pondexter for three, it's through! Smith to Jared Jack. Pondexter bounces outside to Jared Jack. Five and a half to play in the half. Green from Okafor, Jared Jack delivers to Smith, and now Pondexter. Tonight, Milwaukee's done a great job of kind of taking him out of rhythm by double teaming, but it's, the Pelicans have to do a better job of not losing sight of getting him shot from right now. I'm an athlete, so you know his mindset is I can jump over anybody. But it'll be Evans setting it up for Anthony with the extra pass coupon. Got it! But he had the Pelicans recognize the stutter step. Joe Johnson, a shot he normally makes, can't hit the floater. Two second difference, shot clock, the game clock. Pelicans will back it out. They've got a six point lead with 16 seconds to play in the first half. Good decision by the Pelicans, but if they miss a shot, the Nets will probably have four or five seconds they can come back and score. Shot clock down to five. Gordon to the corner. Pondek. Saw there the Bobcats shooting slightly better than the Hornets and the rebounding edge by one. And in the paint, they're outscoring New Orleans 16 10. Steve Martin, Del Curry, Stephanie Reddy here in New Orleans. Shot the I think they're in the CBI now that I think about it. <laughs> your boy got the stutter a little bit. <laughs> didn't think that was coming back at you. Huh? Yeah, those fighting sycamores didn't have a shot, guys. Facing the triple, a little bit strong. Anthony Davis took it away from Ilyasova. No work. Just grabbed it. Pocket pass. AD inside out. Coupon. Yes. A I'm going to skip past. We showed you that in the first half. He's uh, become very, very good at doing that. On Dexter to get it back, and he does. Two here in the second half. Approaching the halfway mark, third quarter. Ashi. Kicks it out. Pond Dexter knocks it down. Than you might think, but I do agree they won't finish in the top three. I think the Lakers, San Antonio, and probably Dallas will finish in the top three. By Pops Mensabansu. Green to the corner. There's a drawn kick. Hey, off. Two of ten from the field. Evans, the crossover on Brown. 14 to shoot, seven minutes to go on the first. Out of the corner, Pondexter cans it by 363. Set up by the brush screen, Brooke Lopez. He comes off, it's almost a Jared Jack move. The drive and kick, Pondexter. Bayless, cross court pass. The three ball is Big Bob Lanier with a 19 and a half shoot. The dauber. Well, Nicholson did not play organized basketball until he was a junior in high school. 64-53. Say, eight ten's a good conference. It is. Player of the year. That's something. Bayless against O'Quinn pitches it out. Q for three. It's through. The shot clock goes. That's not good. But we talked about him. Uh, you know, one of the keys is, is rebounding the ball, and you had to know that this long team was going to attack the offensive glass. Extra pass, Pondexter. 
And again, I still believe that he's not afraid to play the two bigs against the team that plays two bigs. And that's Randolph and Gasol. The Memphis Grizzlies. Four on the clock. Gasol's going to have to beat the buzzer. Instead, passes the corner. Pondexter. It's right back to work. He played in his first game in, in New Orleans. Came back from, from an injury and uh, played well. Pondexter, he's on. One, two, two again. You can see the one guy up front, and then the box below. The middle is open. That's the, that's the place where you go. Pondexter, another three. They actually don't give him a fast break bucket on that. I thought they would have, but Why not? Pondexter for three. It's through. And he's going to get there. Anthony Davis changed it, though. So AD with the change shot. The league leader in blocks. Good spacing. Pondexter for three. Yes. Out of conformity, four points of the first four minutes of the second quarter. Eric Gordon back on the floor. Pelicans. Six free throws already. Good pass. Pond Dexter. Covering it up. He just pulled the shot and none of the bottoms. It's 15 now for Ryan Anderson in a two-point affair. Pond Dexter. Man, don't leave. Me. games now. They have forced 14 from the Spurs. Leading to 12 Memphis points. Bayless shakes free from Patty Mills. A corner three by Q. Bingo! Brandon with two free throws on the Ryan Anderson bump and foul. 78 to 59. A minute to 40 left in the third. So my sense is he doesn't need consistent scoring unless it's just from one of the three on a particular night. I'll tell you what, Tom Dexter. Against the Grizzlies, he had nine three-pointers on St. Patrick's night at Madison Square Garden. Well, we're not going to look for him, Barton. No, I'm going to sit over there for the entire night. I got you. Pondexter for three. Bang! 